Hey, it's Sean Hart again. I'm the uh, president of the uh, local EAA chapter 494 here at Corona uh, Airport. And today is our first open house in 15 years. We put it together to try and climb out of uh, our two years of doing nothing. And so we thought what better way than during Father's Day weekend to have a whole bunch of airplanes and cars come out here to Corona Airport. One of the really nice things that happened as I started trying to organize this, I happened to take my gyroplane over to the March Air Force Base uh, Air Show, which is the first time they've done that in a couple of years too. And there was an OV-10 there. I flew OV-10s back in the 80s in Germany. And so I kind of shot out an email to invite the Cal Fire guys to bring their OV-10 out. And Jeff here responded and said, I've got an OV-10, can I come? And I said, well, heck yeah, bring it on down. And these guys do the restoration on these beautiful military aircraft. This particular aircraft is actually formerly a Marine aircraft. So it was a D model, had forward looking infrared on it as well as a whole bunch of other stuff that we in the Air Force didn't have. I flew ones that were used as forward air controllers back in the 80s when we were looking at uh, the Soviets uh, pouring through the Fulda Gap in Germany. And my mission in the OB-10 was to mark targets for the A-10s, F-4s, F-16s to drop bombs on. The Marines did a little bit something different. They did more um, counterinsurgency close air support using these aircraft, but I can't talk too much about the Marine version. So how did you get involved in OV-10s? So um, I work for an organization uh, called California Aerofab or, or Aerosport. Um, and so they uh, restored this airplane uh, to flying and less so restoration than, you know, you, you, you find a pile of parts and, you know, you want to make a flying airplane out of it. And so we, we brought it down here today um, as part of supporting the uh, the nonprofit that runs out of Aerosport, which is called the uh, Calero Academy. So the Calero Fab Flight Academy is a, a nonprofit for youth and young adults and adults of all ages uh, to get involved with aviation. And so when we heard about Corona, we said, well, what better way to support Corona Airport than to have the chance to bring the Bronco down here. Uh, we're located right in Chino and sell some rides to support the Academy and the, and the Stearman and the L4. So it's been really fantastic, and uh, building the community, you know, based around these airplanes uh, with kids of all backgrounds, um, and uh, everyone gets a chance to be a part of a community and to put into something that's bigger than themselves, and you know, the results speak for themselves. You know, we have airplanes like this in the academy. It's a chance to let people work on planes that otherwise wouldn't. And so many of the people who put this plane together came through the academy never having touched a screwdriver before, or never having touched a rivet gun before, or never having touched a wrench before. And they got the chance to learn how to use those tools. And many of those people, including myself, now have jobs working full time on, on these planes. And it's, it's been really fantastic. Um, it's, it's really great getting a chance to help people. And the Bronco is awesome. Um, it's certainly a crowd pleaser. And, and, as, uh, and I just gave uh, four Stearman rides this morning and, and you know, getting a chance to see smiles on people's faces. And not only that, but take kids that are you know, 14 or 15 and you know, stuck at home on the computer or video games and give them a chance to have some agency and be like, yeah. Some reality. Some reality and be like, yeah, I built that. That flying up there right now, every single person to work on this airplane can proudly say like, yeah, I made that happen. And that is a really awesome, awesome feeling. So if you look at the OV-10, you'll notice that the gear is weird looking. This is a trailing link gear, which has really great suspension. It was built for landing on unimproved uh, airports. Uh, that's why the props are up off the ground pretty good, a high wing, high tail like that. So it's not going to get a lot of rock or, or debris damage from that. The OV-10 itself had uh, 7.62 miniguns on either Sponson. Those things are called Sponsons. Hanging underneath there right now, he's got uh, a centerline tank. But if you could take that off, you've got five hard points. Each one can carry a Mark 82, up to a Mark 82, 500 pound uh, general purpose bomb. And uh, the airplane itself is good to six and a half G's positive, fully acrobatic uh, and capable of any kind of formation flying. Uh, we did a whole bunch of that. It even has a cargo bay on the back. Uh, the Marines could carry up to five paratroopers to jump out of the back of it. 
speed light, you can take a look in the cockpit. Now it's got a lot more of the modern accompaniments than, than an OB-10 in the 1980s would. Yeah. Um, and so oh, it's all it looks the same. <laughs> but none of those panels were there. Yeah, having having the glass makes it an easier plane to fly. Um, I, I'm not the pilot of the plane, um, but I I do get the chance to work on it and be part of the academy. And you know, three three and a half years ago, I had never flown in an airplane, and and now I get the chance to do this stuff. And I just went, oh, planes are cool. Why not? <laughs> Who knew that you know it's going to consume your life? And so we we give those people those chances. It's really awesome. How long did it take to restore this? Uh, this is done in about a year, um, uh, give or take. Uh, so right now we have one in the shop. Uh, it just went in the shop. Um, we're doing more of them. Uh, they're very, very popular. Uh, we, it just came in the shop early April, and it will fly out of the shop by October. Are the ejection seats live? No. Okay. Uh, no. In the, in the days when I flew them, the canopy doesn't come off. You go through the canopy. Yep, there's a little, if you yep. look up there, there's, there's a, a breaker. little breaker right there yep. where the, the, the seat hits the canopy. Yep. Unfortunately, it's certifying, finding, and buying uh, an ejection seat, a live no. ejection seat for yep. this. Is, uh, and then the maintenance maintain it. It's about equivalent to the cost of the airplane. Hey, so I flew OV-10s way back in the 80s. I didn't want to tell you how long ago that was. But it was so much fun flying it. How can I get involved in this again? So um, the best way to do it is on our website uh, for the academy, uh, calaroacademy.org. There's a big button that says get involved on it, and you just click that button. Tell me a little bit about yourself and why you want to come check out airplanes. And we meet Saturdays, and I'll invite you down on a Saturday, and we'll come work on airplanes and maybe go flying. It's a perfect tie-in to my EAA chapter here. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, thanks so much. Thank you, Sean. It was an absolute pleasure. My pleasure. And thank you.